What? What in the hell's going on out here? Look at this guy. What the? What's going on, guys? That's right. Let me try this again. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we've got Spencer over here with his rammer, jacking shit up always, as usual. This is what he does. Does He comes, he shits up, and he leaves. Hey, you got to take this to the dealer, dude. You got some, uh, some, some rainbow soot. <laughs> is that just to match the driver or what, dude? <laughs> I've never seen the it's from, uh, rainbow the soot. detail shit. Uh-huh. That's okay. it, guys. So if there's a rainbow sticker, just blame it on the detail shit. Uh, <laughs> I got it out of your garage. <laughs> no, get the hell out of here. <laughs> so today, guys, uh, we're doing a lift pump on this thing. No, this is not a how-to video, but um, I guess I can try to make it a how-to, even though we're ahead of you. Uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna say like those videos that are like 30 seconds. Okay, so once you get the tank out, they don't tell you how to get the tank out. Um, but if you guys are wondering how and you don't have the S&B tank, so I have the S&B tank. So it's got the ports, one port there, one port at the bottom, the suction, the feed. So... Spencer's situation he does not so what he's gonna do is once you guys I know I hate saying this but once you drop the tank uh dropping the tank is pretty dang easy though this uh we just cut this we'll put a T or something in here because you can't you know one, these barbed ones you can't really take off uh pull the filler neck out you're gonna have two you're gonna have a power there obviously pull this one off too you're gonna have a power on the fuel pump and then two like nipples I know nipples <laughs> that come out the side right there so you got a power disconnect those spencer already did us a favor and broke this one <laughs> thank goodness that this has to be cut off anyways um so uh oh i guess are you on that step yet you should be on that step yeah, you gotta... so i'm gonna cut it but yeah and, and then uh once i cut it then we'll basically shave this whole section down so it's flush and then we'll draw another we're gonna yeah 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 easier said than done guys i will two uh, holes seven once he eights. once he cuts this and is on that step i will record that for you guys because talking about it's always a pain in the butt um but i would say this is probably you know if you're gonna do it a first timer maybe a four hour job you know just uh trying to figure everything out oh and also the tank you're gonna obviously have your straps um if i gotta tell you guys that you probably shouldn't do this you should probably hire someone to do it but don't forget you got your straps to drop the tank. Now, uh, what we're going to do, actually, are you going to run those filters? No, I got cat filters. You do, okay. So, yeah, guys, uh, we don't run these. I'll show you the Caterpillar filters um, that we got that we run. I run on mine, and he's going to run on his. Also, stay tuned. Um, hopefully, supposedly with my guy, my website is going to be done very soon. So... I want to try to get on the website cat filters for you guys. Um, you know, a lot of you guys have asked me just for some of the Napa stuff, so hopefully we can get that on there for you guys. Um, we, the guy that's making is having like a problem with something. I don't, I don't know much about websites, but there's something that I want that is difficult. So hopefully he gets done, and we'll have these on the website for you. But if you guys want them now and don't want to wait, these are uh, the filters right here. What's nice about these? Well, first things first. Grab one of those filters, Spence, and let's just look at the size comparison. I mean, look look at the size comparison. Now, you can get that big-ass mumbo-jumbo one. I'm not a fan of that one just because... Here, I don't want this to fall and bust this nipple. But, uh, there I go with the nipple word again. But um, I don't like the long one, guys, just because it hangs down from the truck. To me, it looks pretty ugly. It doesn't look clean. I want it flush, you know, up in there nice and clean. Uh, so this is your first one right here. And your second one bam and what's nice about this one is it has a drain so i don't know why or what it is according to fast uh, people are saying oh you know diesel fuel doesn't collect that much water so they got rid of the drain um you know i i don't know and they say also that these the like what it's rated for and max it's a better quality um people say cat is not rated for that I, you know I can't show you any proof that it is really, but I know so many people that run this thing, including me. I don't have any power problems. Uh, I don't have any filtration problems, obviously, because, I mean, the cat's not a bad filter. And I know you guys, it's very critical. Um, it's, it's hit and miss. It's up to you. If you guys want to pre-fill these things, you can pre-fill them. 
Uh, you know, it even says here, do not pre-fill them. And if you guys are wondering, well, because when you pour in here, so if you do, God forbid something happens and you get a rock or dirt or something, it is not filtering. If you're going to pour some fuel, pour it on the outside because that's the filtration port of it. But I've seen people for years pour in the middle. Nothing has happened. Uh, and I've seen people not do it. So that is up to you guys how you want to do that. But we're going to get started. And he's going to get the cutting. And I will show you um, after pretty much how he's doing it. So next step, guys, you got to remove this out of the way. Unplug it. You got to pull those wires out. They are a little difficult. So grab some like needle nose and pull up. You can pop them out. And then it just locks into here. So that's got to come out before... You start cutting any of this stuff right here so now that he's got that off guys you got to cut these and be very careful cut them down the middle because you're going to reuse this braided section so we just have to remove the factory lift pump so this is going to be gone that's going to be gone and he's going to remove this whole thing out but once he gets there i'll show you sorry guys i had like some cigar and i got a little carried away but um so you're going to take like i said the uh factory lift pump out take all this out you're going to drill out i'm sorry that's i'll show you here what he's what he's doing i know it's a little scary but um this right here you're going to use a hole saw and the size of this is i don't know if you guys can see that seven eighths right there hole saw and you literally drill once, so once you cut this part off, you're literally going to drill right in the center of this, just like that, to take this whole thing out, and then you got to clean it up because this has to sit in there flush. I'll show you. The best way to clean it is with a Dremel um, because it's really tight in there. Diesel. Diesel, come on. Now that it's done uh, drilling with the Dremel, you can see here, you just got to flatten it out because this O-ring has to sit flush and these are in the way. And it's going to sit, bam, just like that. That's going to go in there, get these nipples out of the way, get down out of the way. That's going to sit flush. Just look around it, make sure. All right, you're good to go. So now he can start. He's got to do another one. Uh, I believe we're gonna look at the directions. I believe like right over here somewhere. So you gotta have one here and you're gonna have one here. It's always nice drilling holes in your fuel pump. What do you think, guys? Look at that. All right, with his finger hanging at the bottom of the seat. He gets, oh, damn, he heard me. <laughs> All right, and there is hole number two. Now I know the directions, they got like right up here. Um, I mean, I think it's better here because it's flat. You don't got to deal with taking all that out. So it's going right there. Now we got to clean it up a little bit. Okay, so once you guys have done both holes and you have to put the fittings on, show them the fittings right there. You guys can see those. Make sure when you guys put these on, you do put red Loctite because you do not want these coming loose being in the tank. That is going to be a nightmare. So. But red Loctite, you don't want those things coming apart, guys. Do not forget. That's very important on both of those. Red Loctite. So, you can see how long this is taking. The sun is leaving us. We're on our own over here. But, well, I don't even know why I'm doing this. This is not even an install video, guys. But, this has got to be the worst install video ever. Comment down below if you agree. <laughs> I think that Fast should figure out a way to get a module with the kit that way you're so it not... comes with them all you just pull yeah. your old pump out and put the new one in yeah i mean yeah it is a little, it, it, I, I will say something snb or uh, yeah snb did a really good job as you guys know on mine so i'm going to show you a difference and what spencer's saying because it is a little pain in the butt and i'm i'm talking for like just the average person that can't simply modify their own stuff you know what i mean and nobody usually wants to modify yeah their I mean, fuel this, pump this is a oem piece yeah so you're you're basically going in and like if you mess it. up you're screwed yeah i mean you're gonna be at the dealer tomorrow if you got a ride to get there right now I and if they have and if they have the part who knows yeah. so but like i said guys i'm sorry i'm not making an install video but 
I'll show you what it looks like here. Actually, bring it to the light, Spence. We'll show him over here what it looks like. And I'm going to show you the difference. So his tank, guys, has no ports. Now, on mine, you can see here. So I didn't have to do that on mine. You see how I have the... Oh, dang, it's dark. I got to get a light. But I got a port. I don't know if you can see my hand. No, let me get a... Let me get a flashlight. Stand by. Yeah. I mean a cat, not a D-wall. So you see, I've got a port here and I got a port up top. So it's kind of nice that they make it easier for you. They got the holes pre-drilled and ready to go. Where in Spencer's situation, um, you know, they don't. Now, I do know some people get like that fleece kit where it just drills in the bottom of the tank. I don't know, I've never ran it. I'm not really a fan of it. I prefer the lift pump with the twin filters on there. So I guess, yeah. well, get back to working. You got, yeah. actually we're, actually no, we're not even almost done. We got, we're pretty close when it comes to installing back the tank. Uh, now we, we gotta mount gotta, the pump. We gotta mount the pump, run the wire. And then, uh, yeah, that's what the headlights is for. Yeah. All right, I'll stand by guys. All right, so when you guys are done, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have two nipples. I think I've said nipple like 48 times in this video. At least six. Six? Oh, okay. I don't know what is it is today. How many times did you laugh after you said it, though? I mean, every time I said nipple, I think I was noticing it. I don't know. But once you got those two nipples right there, just like that, and still keep that fitting because you're gonna use that right there. He has put the fittings onto the blue push lock hose and you've got to throw it where are you throwing it like right up and over the frame yep because you have to bring one side well i'll show you if we can get the camera under there well boys as you can see here we've got daylight with a snap of a finger bam just like that um we <laughs> he called it uh quits yesterday because he wakes up really early because his job requires him to wake up at like 4 a.m so 3 a.m. It's really early. So he just, we left this. But uh, like I said, like I told you guys, this is going to be the worst install video ever. Um, we got the new head tech here, the master mechanic. He's just showed up. He's doing brakes right now. Look at him. This guy is the beat. You, uh, he, this guy, he did these front brakes within, what, 15 minutes? Give or take. Maybe Give or take. 10? Uh, something like that. I mean, this guy, it's crazy. So this is the newest tech. You'll see Hi, him guys. on the channel. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Yeah, so now, um, again, like I said, guys, this is the worst install video. So we're finally done, powered everything up. Now you connected. So there's that long hose. His wasn't long enough. He had to purchase a uh, new hose to go from the pump up to his, oh, geez, up to his CP3 or CP4, actually. Right over here, you can see it. Right, right in there. Yeah, under the auto, if you guys can see that the blue. So you gotta bring one line and send it down there. I can't see there right there. Yeah. You guys see that? So I can't see, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. And uh, what you do is you're now going to get rid of that filter that is here. So you just uh, x nay that. And you're gonna x nay the filter under the bed. So now you're just gonna use the fast filters or we run the caterpillar filters next step they tell you is turn the key on what i like to do instead of pre-filling them um did you pre-fill them or no no you put them on empty okay yeah. he did not pre-film so what i like to do is loosen them up see this how they they're flopping and while he turns the key on it's going to get all the air out because if you tighten them up you could suck air then it becomes a pain in the butt so i loosen them up until it starts puking uh diesel out of them basically and then uh, we can tighten them up. So go ahead, kick the key on. All right, we hear the pump. No fuel yet. Damn, all right guys, so we've got a thing running now. Uh, the problem that we had, well, it sucked a lot of air, but you can hear now. Ooh, baby. So sometimes that does happen where you're sitting there cranking, 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 nothing's happening. Um, and you get worried, but everything is good to go. Now, what I recommend you do, let it sit here, let it run, check for leaks, get under there, wipe everything down, look at your CP4 or CP3, whatever you guys have, 
Uh, confirm that high pressure pump, make sure there's no leaks, and you guys should be going good to go. Now we're gonna head check back with the master mechanic, the master tech. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fine, sir. All right, 10-4, I don't wanna bother him. I don't wanna bother while he's working, so we'll just let him do hey, his guys. thing. And that's Being it. Mechanic is easy. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. That's probably the longest installed uh, lift pump video that uh, we've done. Uh, but we ran into a couple problems. Well, because I was trying to help my other friend and trying to help him out. So it was kind of a pain in the butt bouncing back and forth. But that's all I got for you guys. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't want to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.